you're into astronomy at all, whether you're a beginner or a seasoned amateur, I'm pretty sure you've heard about the pillars of creation. This is actually the Eagle Nebula, and that's exactly what we are going after tonight. So stick around, let's get right to it. As always, thank you so much for joining me here again on my channel for another astrophotography video. Tonight we are doing the Eagle Nebula. This is going to be captured in a little bit of a face-off tonight. We're going to be utilizing my nine and a quarter with the Hyperstar right here. And then we're also going to be utilizing the Sea Star. And the price difference between these two is vast. It is $5,000 roughly versus $500. So it's gonna be a really interesting toss up to see which one obviously is the winner. Now I can already tell you which one is exactly going to win, but we don't want to make any preconceived judgments before we get to the actual results. Now looking on paper though, we do know that the nine and a quarter is going to offer far more light gathering ability, far better resolution with a dedicated Astro camera. But the simplicity of the Sea Star is something that is unmatched out there on the telescope field because instead of having to lug around a hundred pounds worth of equipment with this really large, you know, big rig here, we can just simply set up the sea star on its little baby tripod connect it to the wi-fi and off we go so we have to wait for it to get dark a little bit but tonight the eagle nebula is going to be on deck for what i think will be a really good night of astro imaging now if you're taking the eagle nebula and all you have is this guy which is a sea star well this is relatively really simple for you to take a picture of the eagle nebula you'll want to level this guy up you'll want to get it focused on the night sky and you'll want to activate the internal light pollution filter if you are shooting this target from any type of a light polluted city like mine you'll want to activate that filter and let this bad boy stack as many frames as you possibly can get now the only complaint i have with the sea star and i'm sure a lot of people know this already is that whenever you're doing images it just drops frames for like no reason even though the images on the screen are fine and it's tracking just okay and everything's great and wonderful your battery life is good it just drops frames randomly and it's kind of frustrating because you lose a lot of data and time doing that now, if you're an advanced amateur and you want to get the most out of the Sea Star, I would recommend turning on save every file once it takes the picture. So every 10 second picture, it saves the raw fits file for you to go back and stack it yourself manually. So you can get rid of things like satellite trails or maybe some that, you know, maybe an airplane went through and, you know, created a lot of heat in the image, you know, that you can get rid of things like that in post-processing but if you just simply want to just put the sea star out stack it for a while you certainly can do that but i'm sure that this little guy can of course resolve the eagle nebula as well from the light pollution and it's going to be interesting tonight to see how well the eagle comes through on this because the resolution isn't very high on one of these so it, the eagle is going to be really quite small even in the sea star